I can tell you that if you're thinking about applying to med school, even if you don't think you have the grades or whatever, give it a shot because it's the best decision I've ever made in my life. And I know very few people who regret it just because of what you can do with your life. You get to really make a difference. You have a good job at the end of the day. You might not sleep as much as the average, per average person, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter to you. I think the first impression I got was intimidation. And I think that's fairly common in that there's a lot of really great people there and they all come in and tell you about their undergrads and what they've done and they're very intelligent people and wonderful people, at least in my school, I don't, can't say, speak for the rest, but I love my classmates and very intimidating. So a little bit, you get over that, you're a little hesitant at the first bit, but everyone's really welcoming and then I guess mid, uh, around November, you sort of get over it, you get the first marks back, you do fine and you realize that, well, yeah, I can play ball in this league and we're not competing anymore, so. It's great that you're around these wonderful people because you don't need to compete against them. Mm. Every school is different, but Western does a block-based system. So your very first block is basically a miscellaneous get everyone up to speed because everyone has different undergraduate experience and different medical experience coming in. Uh, some people came in with economics degrees. So you have to get everyone up to the basic science. And then after that, you go into uh, body systems. So the first one is infection and immunity. So it's a little less of a system, but you learn all of that. Then you do the muscles and the basic anatomy of the body with bones. And then you get right into like cardiology in the new year and then respirology. So you learn everything you need to know about the heart and its systems. So you'll first learn all the science behind the physiology and then you start learning the pathology for the diseases. And then we start learning treatments and pharmacology. So it's really integrated so that you're not learning everything about the body's physiology at once uh, and never being able to apply it. So it's very uh, applicable. And then we do small groups, which br really bring it to a patient setting. And you get to apply it to actual patients. And uh, well, not actual patients, but uh, they do cases that are real patients and we look into them. I guess the f best memory of the year was probably when I first got to see a patient and actually got to interact with them. And you don't necessarily do that with the curriculum. We save a lot of the clinical stuff for third year, but you do uh, observerships in uh, hospital rotations. So I did an observership in orthopedics uh, in Waterloo actually, that was more of my March break. And I got to see a patient who had her hip, repla hip replaced and it just changed her world and that was amazing and that's what I got into medicine for and that was the best part of it. Uh, the worst part, scariest moment was probably the same sort of thing. You, you go in there, actually probably surgery. I did an observership in surgery and you get into the room and you're, you're in all your gowns and they taught you how to wash your hands properly and then they say, put your hands like this and uh, don't move. And then don't move, don't touch anything because you'll make it, you'll contaminate it. So the scariest thing is when I uh, was in the surgery and I think I actually helped out with some of the surgeries, little minor things, but even minor things, like I don't want to kill someone, which highly unlikely because they know us and they know our level of skill. So that was the scariest, but rewarding when you get through it and you know, don't kill someone. <laughs> Some people who have the idea that they want to be, say, a dermatologist the entire time, they go into clerkship, try family medicine and, and changes like that. I love it. It's really just what you love. And at the end of the day, if you're happy that you're not sleeping and you're still doing it, then that's probably what you should go into. And some people find it out, find out right away. And some people take until the last day before applications. The difference comes in that Everyone's had those moments in undergrad, I know I did, when I'm like, why am I learning this? This is absolutely useless. And probably first year, a lot of the general courses especially. Med school's not like that, because you're, you, you sometimes revert to that, like, why am I learning this? This isn't useful. And then the doctor at the front of the, of the room will be like, if you don't know this, someone will die. And it just makes everything really applicable. They don't try to scare you, but it makes, at the end of the day, I did some studying last night for an exam, and I'm like, wow, I'm gonna save someone's life because I know this now. Uh, and that's a really good feeling. It's really applicable, really hands-on, even if it is book learning right now. Uh, when, you, when we actually get to clinical methods, which is what I was at today, I got to apply what I'd learned last year, and like I remember that. And you know now I can tell how someone's doing, how a patient's doing, not with a fancy test, but by just feeling uh, their neck and seeing what's, what's going on there. That's the huge difference. And also, we have a fair bit more free time uh, in medical school than, you, than you'd imagine. Uh, not in function, but in classes. They really want us to be well-rounded persons. And uh, in order to facilitate that, they give us a little bit of free time and they encourage us to do extracurriculars. And most people are swamped in medical school, not just because of the education. We, we have a good handle on that usually, but because of their extracurriculars. I'm involved with so many things right now, like board game club, my uh, council stuff that I'm working on, and a number of other things that 
I'm swamped, but it's with things I, en I, I enjoy in addition to school. So it's a lot of work, but because you make it for yourself, because we're all keeners and love doing so many things.